All right, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a problem where after you replace the backlight diode on an iPhone 6, the brightness only goes up to um, roughly a quarter of the way. Um, you'll try to slide the slider, but uh, maximum brightness goes up to about 25%. So let's just confirm it here first. Uh, I don't know what the passcode is. Let me pause it real quick. Find passcode. All right, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna adjust the brightness, and you can kind of see it doesn't really go any more bright. Uh, about three quarters of the way through. Okay. And if you compare it. Uh, I thought it was dead. All right, hold on a second. All right. Anyways, I'd compare it with a known good one, but uh, I don't have one right now. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Let me pause. Oh, here's two iPhones here. You can kind of see it. One's on full on. Let's see, almost full brightness, and this one's on full brightness. You can see, one's a lot brighter than the other. This one is the problem. This one right here is the problem one, okay? Alright, so I've already test. I've already replaced the diode, tested all the filters and everything, the cap, uh, the caps and stuff like that, and I've replaced a few of the caps. I think one of them maybe. Anyways, it is at, uh, 25% brightness, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test the coil. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's do this first. Put your multimeter in diode mode and test the diode. Okay, the diode. Um, just go across it both ways. One way should read. Hold on a second. One one way should read O L, and if you go the other way, it should read uh, roughly roughly 0 0.2 volts, 0 0.22 volts, right around there. Okay. If it says one 1.8 volts, then it's bad. So that needs to be replaced. Number two, um, check the coil. So the coil goes from here to here. So we can't get underneath the coil to test it, but we can stick a multimeter here and here, and that'll give us a ring on the coil. Okay. And so in order to test the coil, you stick it into resistance mode and on your multimeter and touch these two. So I'm getting 0.5 ohms right now. 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms, okay. On a known good one, that is closer to 1 ohm, all right. So just from looking at this right now, the coil is bad. So I'm going to replace the coil. In order to replace the coil, I'm just going to burn the crap out of it and just peel it off because there's no way to get it off whole. There's just no way. I've tried. Just make sure everything else is well protected. So just kind of melt it a little bit and then just start breaking it into pieces.
There it goes. It takes a lot of heat. And then it's, it actually starts catching on fire and stuff. You'll see little fireballs. See that? This thing's a biatch. I'm not quite sure what these coils are made of, but this sucker sucks. So just kind of be careful with it. Don't muck too much up, you know what I'm saying? Try not to disturb any of these little components down here. The diode, the backlight IC. So what I'd like to do is put a little low melt on here and um, Sorry, it's a, it, this thing is a pain in the arse to remove. Not gonna lie. So I'm just going to tin, tin the coil a little bit with some uh, 6337.
All right, and then this right here is going to be. I know low melt is not a great conductor of electricity, but uh, I think I'm going to put a little bit on to uh, to uh, help it melt a little easier. Um, so I can put this coil on. So let's uh, do this. It's going to heat it just a little bit because this low melt has got little balls everywhere. So. All right, so in order to test it, you can use your multimeter in in um, resistance mode and just measure the um, coil again. If it's right, then you should get about a little over one ohm. So I'm getting one ohm right now, and okay. Everything's good here, so I'm going to test it, and we will go from there. Alright, I just put it back in the housing, and it's booting up, you can tell it's already brighter.
and I will go ahead and compare it with my fully bright, perfectly working iPhone 6 as soon as it's up. Alright, here we go. Okay, so this is the bad one, and this is the good one. As you can tell, they are the same now. And, let's see. Go, oh, boom, boom. So, it was the coil. There you have it.